On the 10th of March 2023, one of the largest banks in the United States was shut down and this bank as we all know is none other than the Silicon Valley Bank. Today in this video, we will see what is this Silicon Valley Bank, what are the root causes of the collapse, its fallout, and how safe are Indian banks in the current situation. Silicon Valley Bank, the 16th largest US lender that primarily financed startups and ventures, collapsed after a bank run last week as depositors sought to withdraw funds amid concerns about its financial health. The collapse was the second biggest for a retail bank in US history, after that of Washington Mutual during the 2008 global financial crisis. Next, we shall know the root cause of the collapse. The failure of SVB circles back to the sharp rise in interest rates. The US Federal Reserve has been aggressively increasing its benchmark policy rates from the record low levels of last year to fight inflation that hit 40-year high in 2022, slowing the economy and curtailing investments. Investors who pour in money, even in risky investment ventures, when cheaper money is available usually have a low-risk appetite in a high-interest rate environment. Their investments into startups, the main clientele of SVB, fell significantly as interest rates continued to climb higher. As interest rates brought the initial public offerings, another avenue of raising funds for startups, to a grinding halt in the US and private funding became increasingly difficult. Some of SVB clients started pulling money out of the bank to meet their liquidity needs. This forced the lender to explore fundraising options of its own to allow withdrawals to continue. The run on the bank was worse in the hours leading up to its collapse as a number of startups tried to withdraw cash. Some succeeded, but many were unsuccessful, deepening the panic and forcing the FDIC to take control of affairs. Next, we'll discuss the unsuccessful fundraising effort. Silicon Valley Bank on Wednesday sold a $22 billion bond portfolio made up primarily of U.S. Treasuries whose values had fallen as a result of the Fed's tightening of monetary policy, in an effort to pay for the redemptions. The bank was compelled to record a $1.8 billion deficit as a result. SVB attempted to close the difference by raising $2.25 billion through the sale of preferred convertible stock and equity, but was unsuccessful. On Friday, the bank scrambled to find alternative funding, including through the sale of the company. What has been the fallout of SVB's collapse so far? The assets of New York-based Signature Bank were seized by US regulators two days after SVB's demise, making it the third-largest bank failure in US history. Signature Bank was known for its work with the Bitcoin industry. US regulators declared on Sunday that they will guarantee all deposits at both firms in an effort to contain the consequences. The Bank Term Financing Program, a new lending initiative from the Federal Reserve, intends to increase banks' confidence in the financial system, by allowing them to borrow money directly from the Fed rather than having to rely on losing bond sales. Now, we will see the impact of this news in stock market. Nonetheless, bank shares, including those of the US, Big Four, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Citibank have dipped more than 4% this week amid fears of contagion across the financial sector. First Republic Bank, a mid-tier bank based in San Francisco, California, saw its stock price plunge more than 60%. Banking sectors in Europe and Asia have also taken a significant hit. What will be the effect of this crisis on Indian banks? Indian banks' strong funding and liquidity will allow them to hold onto their held to maturity securities. Moody said on Tuesday amid fears that the failure of two banks in the US will spill over to other countries. According to the Global Rating Agency, Indian banks have faced strenuous solvency challenges in the past decade, but their funding and liquidity have held up strongly and have been a key factor supporting their overall credit strength. So, it can be said that there will be no major impact on Indian banks. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via call, email or WhatsApp. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Please do like, share and subscribe our video for the latest updates in the stock market.